Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. And today, I have a bit of an exciting video, at least for me. Um, I, I have an older planner here. Um, this is one of the first planners I ever had, I think. Um, at least the one of the first planners I ever was a little bit more creative in. Um, I think I've always had a planner of some sort, but I don't think I ever really either used it too much. It was always like a freebie planner that I got, you know, in college or something, or I used like a Google calendar or whatever. But this is one of the first like paper planners that I kind of took seriously and that I stuck with and I spent, you know, I, I, I used up the entire planner. Like I, I spent the entire year in a planner. And these videos are always fun for me. Like it's always fun to flip through an older planner and see how far you've come and just have that little trip down memory lane. So if you're interested in seeing a flip through of this planner, which is probably one of my first ever planners, I think I used this in, let's see, 2018. So this is, 2018, the year of 2018. So if you're interested in checking out uh, this planner and seeing, you know, my planner origins, just keep on watching. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in a little bit here because this is a smaller planner and so we, we probably it would help if we zoomed in a little bit. So, First, right off the bat, this planner is a daily planner. So it has a page for every single day. And a second thing off the bat, this thing doesn't have a cover because it just fell off at some point in the journey. I definitely carried this around with me everywhere and the, the cover fell off. It was just like a paper cover and it had this design on the front with the name of the planner on the front. And the name of the planner, I believe, was the day designer for Blue Sky. But beyond that, I don't really know too much about um, the company. <laughs> Let me zoom out a bit. The company that made this. So I remember in the beginning of the planner, um, it had a couple of pages about like setting goals. So we have that. Uh, oh, look at this. This page just fell off. Uh, oh, another thing is that this planner was on coil, but it had this weird funky coil that the pages could slip off and because it has this gap in it. I'm not a big fan of coil planners. Um, I love the happy planner. I love disc bound systems. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I didn't like this coil. So it had a couple of pages at the beginning of uh, the planner that were supposed to kind of uh, help you review your habits and design your days. So we had those and look at that. We <laughs> another page fell off. I'm going to have to figure out how to not have this happen. So, um, this was the first month in January. And as you can see, I was very, very, simple and new to planning so I didn't really decorate that much. I had a couple of stickers, a couple of washi tapes and so here's me putting some washi tape on top of the uh, monthly spread and then it looked like I was playing around with pens and <laughs> markers and something that I tended to do in earlier planners was I would cross out every day that passed so that I would always know what day I was on. I don't know why I did that, but because it doesn't look cute, but it is what it is. And so this is the first spread of the year for me. And I actually do really enjoy the day designer format because of how it's arranged. I actually really, really love this style. And I think I would like to, I wish like I could um, maybe make my own of, of this style and then kind of blow it up for like a daily page. It gives you a today's top three checklist at the top and also gives you a fun little quote 
And this is the part I really liked and why I picked up this planner. It gives you an hourly schedule from 6 in the morning to 8 p.m. at night. And then it gives you a to-do list. And it also gives you um, uh, like a tonight section. So I don't know, you could use this for chores or maybe something's happening like past 8 p.m. and you want to um, write that down. And then it also gives you a gratitude section. I have no idea what this means here. Coco, 5.20, 7.45, p.m. Maybe that those are movie times. And then I put Anthony might come pick me up in the evening. And then over here, Anthony at 6.30 p.m. I remember this man. I was dating this man named Anthony. <laughs> oh my goodness. He he did really like me. And I actually, I, I liked him, but I didn't, I didn't love him. There was like something missing. There was a spark that was missing. Um, and I was trying to fall in love with him because he was such a perfect man. And it's weird. Like sometimes... It's funny how the heart works, right? Um, and then here you can see I kind of added a couple more stickers. I kind of wrote um, in different colors. As you can see, I didn't really structure my life too much. I would just put like work seven to five and that was it. Um, I didn't really do too much besides that. I'm adding more stickers, that same washi tape. I just put it everywhere. And then this is when I got some Pokemon stickers. And so I just kind of added those here and there. And then sometimes I just like didn't really use my planner. And then here I added more stickers. I have some Animal Crossing stickers, some puffy dog stickers, some emoji stickers. I remember those emoji stickers. Uh, I had like a whole sheet of them and I got so sick and tired of them after a while. I also had these like Disney, um, I forget what these little characters are called, but I had those as well. And then let's see, I just have more Animal Crossing stickers, Pokemon stickers, and again, there's just a lot of uh, pen. It's kind of messy. You can definitely see that I was trying to organize my time and I was trying to have fun with it with like different colors and stickers and stuff, but I wasn't absolutely, um, I wasn't really like trying that hard. This is super cute. I loved these um, sticky notes. These are sticky notes and you just wear like to-do list sticky notes. And so I popped one of those in there. And then that's it for January. We had a note page, which I did like some financial goals here. And then we have the month of February. And I actually, this was, um, I was using this for my YouTube videos. At the time I was doing a lot of makeup videos. So all these are makeup video related. But as you can see, I, I did have some like work stuff in here, but most of this is YouTube videos. And then we just have more Pokemon stickers. I did. A, I use a lot of sticky notes um, to to add in uh, just extra space. And then some days, like I obviously didn't really do too much. Like this one again, I was very plain. This was Valentine's, and um, yeah, I used a lot of uh, these Valentine stickers. Didn't do too much there. Some days it's very clear I wasn't really scheduling my time very much. Some Hello Kitty stickers, super cute. And then we have the month of March. I got some new washi tape. I got this egg washi tape. I'm still doing the, you know, crossing out of the days. I'm using the months to write down some videos. I have some bills there on the side. And then some days I just didn't really use my planner. And this is pretty much how I used my planner for the first couple of, um, the first couple of months. It's like, I would write, you know, like important things down, but I wouldn't really try to schedule my entire day. And I definitely didn't really, um, use every single day. Oh, and something about, um, 
this uh, this daily planner is that the weekends are on one day so each weekday like Thursday Friday each has its own page but for the weekend it gives you a schedule for Saturday and a schedule for Sunday and it gives you a next week and a don't forget section and it still gives you a uh, a little checkbox up here but instead of things to do it says take a time out fun things to do and it still gives you that quote there so that's nice because I do like when um, when planners are a little bit more understanding, I guess, that the weekends sometimes aren't really for work and so you might not need a lot of the stuff that you have for um, like the weekdays. So again, we have a note page. I was using that again for um, just financial notes. And then this is the April monthly here. very much it's so functional at this point it's just pen that's it it just seems that all i'm doing is just kind of writing things down so i don't forget i'm not really trying to schedule my life so much i'm just um i'm just trying to you know make sure that i don't uh i don't forget anything i just have important stuff down That was April. This is May. I had a busy day that day. Wow, I totally did not decorate in this thing at all. It's so interesting to me, like looking now at my planners, I was not, um, I just wasn't decorating at all. I guess I, I, I was decorating at the beginning a little bit, but I just kind of got away from it. I don't know what happened. Okay, now we finally start getting into a little bit of stickers. I uh, I guess I just totally didn't um, remember to put stickers in, but I'm starting to put them in. And then I was doing some workout stuff over there. This is the month of June. And I was counting down until Miami. <laughs> I took a 10 p.m. flight to Miami to arrive Friday at 6 in the morning. And then I just wasn't in my uh, planner at all because I was in Miami. And then I was just working here. Wow, some of these days are so plain. What was I doing? I just wasn't in my planner at all. It definitely took a while to build the habit of being in a planner. Because uh, if you're not used to it, if you're going from, you know, not using a planner at all to starting to use one, especially a daily one like this, um, it does take a, take a while to get into it. And then... This is July, and wow, this is, uh, I'm starting to actually, uh, what is this? Just like a little sticky note. I don't know what's going on there. This is probably the most decorative that I, and the most I've used the planner in a couple of months. I guess this week in July, I just decided to get into my planner again. Um, I had these really cute, uh, Nemo stickers that I got in some random store in LA. Here I was at a conference and so I had a lot going on, but it's so random. Like my stickers were so random. I just like put them everywhere. I didn't really think about like what they were doing or if they made any sense. Like this is Pokemon and Nemo stickers. I had these sticky notes that said you're straight up magic. Wow, I just put stickers everywhere. So now I'm really starting to decorate and I'm using more of these little sticky notes, highlighters, stickers, different colors, a pen. I had an appointment up here. Wow, for some reason I just, you know, went ham for a couple of days there. And then this page, I remember doing this. I remember we went to Sequoia that weekend and for Monday we were driving back and so I just put here, just get home safely. And I just put this, you know, box of washi tape. And I remember feeling a little bit like shocked at myself for um, 
just, you know, like completely ignoring the format of the planner pages and just kind of writing all over it and doing whatever I wanted to do. And that's when I think I really started to realize that planners can be like a blank canvas. You don't necessarily always have to play within the, you know, the lines. You don't have to color within the lines. You don't have to use the format as it's meant to be used every single day. Like you can definitely just pretend that it's a blank page and then work from there. I remember this moment. I think I was, I, re I think I remember it so much because I was a little bit surprised at myself that I was just gonna like scribble all over it and not use it for like how it's intended to be used. That was definitely a, a milestone a moment for me. This was, uh, the month of August. I actually went to Paris in August for a week. I was attending a conference there and so that was really, really cool. And I had these sticky notes that I would just, you know, uh, tape down. And I'm still trying to decorate. There's a lot of Pokemon stickers. Um, I'm, I'm starting to use it more, uh, I was figuring out all of the details of the Airbnbs and the hostels I was staying at in Paris. And then, uh, let's see, I got back in August. And this is where I was really getting into the habit of, um, of writing down stuff. And then this is September. Didn't use my planner for a couple of days. Didn't really use it in September, I guess. Wow, there's some days, some weeks, I just didn't use it at all. Then I kind of get back into it. You can definitely see how I uh, how I kind of wax and wane with, with my planner here. And then we have the month of October. Just more Pokemon stickers. Oof, and then this one. Oh my goodness, this, this right here, this page is when I really, I think, started to uh, use my planner in more ways than just planning. So if you see this pink here, um, I, like this writing here, this this pink writing here is uh, just me journaling because I was feeling so depressed at this moment. I was feeling so defeated and so down. I was in a relationship which was starting to become really toxic. And when we, we first started our relationship, um, it was great, it was wonderful. I was so in love and I was so in love with this man. And then he kind of uh became toxic throughout our relationship and at times like emotionally abusive and I was so upset I had never up to that point um been with someone who was you know emotionally abusive and manipulative and so I was just kind of like realizing it and you know when you're with someone who is like that and you love them, you definitely always want to give them like a second chance and the benefit of the doubt and all that. And so I was just really going through it. And so I just kind of decided to write down in my planner, like my mood and to journal and to just kind of get that out there. It was so cathartic. And so that's when I really started, I think, to realize that I could use this space as um, a journal, a journal space. And then uh, this is super cute. Um, these are little, uh, cutouts from a pug calendar I had. My sister gave me, a uh, like a 365 day, like pug calendar. And each day was like a little picture of a pug. And so I popped those in there cause they were so cute. So here I am just, um, using my planner and I, I started writing again more in this in this planner and my sticker game was so bad I just had like Pokemon stickers and random stickers <laughs> I don't even know like what like what um, 
what I was doing with that. And then November, I just got into a phase where I wasn't using my planner. And then, let's see. Just, you know, I would write like one or two things. November, but November, I guess I wasn't really using this. This was also around the time I uh, broke up with my boyfriend and I was just kind of recuperating from that. And then December, establishing classroom culture. Just, I would write down, you know, important meetings, but it seems like I wasn't in my planner very much at the end of the year. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, I think around this time, I, I just never got back into it. Um, as we got into the holidays. Yep. Yeah, I was not in this. Uh, and then we just have a couple of pages for notes. And that was pretty much it. I think the last page I have in here is just like some lab work stuff. And then we have a page of holidays and I don't know what I was doing here. Oh, I think I was making some notes down. I was grading some people's exams and I just wrote some like notes down but yeah so that is one of my first planners oh oh my god what a trip down at memory lane this was such an eventful year for me I was dating so many people I got into a relationship which when I first got into that relationship it was like the relationship of my dreams and then it slowly deteriorated into a nightmare which is crazy how that works and then I broke up with that ex, um, I went to Miami, I went to Paris, I went to Sequoia National Park. I was traveling a lot this year and I was really, uh, you know, really exploring planning at this point in my life. I was getting into it and you can tell that I definitely uh, got into it some, some weeks, some days. It was really something that I, you know, used quite a bit and I started, even like from my earliest days, you can also see that I was a bit like out of the box with it. I was a little bit creative. I used it for various reasons. Um, <laughs> it's so funny to look back now uh, to, at my, at this planner and see like, how my style has developed so far. And yeah, this, this planner is always gonna have like a special place in my heart because um, it saw me through one of the most eventful and dramatic years of my life, um, 2018. So let's see, I'm always gonna keep this planner. I always keep my planners. I'd never throw them away ever, ever. Like for me, that's so sacrilegious to throw away your planner because it's so it's such a it's such a trip down memory lane it's like you it's full of memories and emotions and it's nice to just go back and you know revisit those years all right everyone thank you so much for tuning in to this video let me know your thoughts in the comments down below i would love to know uh, what you think about this crazy ass planner and i will catch you in my next video bye